So, after we finished with the models last time, let us start adding lights to the scene. We still on every render engine, so keep that for now. We will change it to cycles once we set up our sky. As I said before, we will render this scene with both cycles and every render engines, and due to every render require more steps than cycles for both the lightings and the animation, we will start with cycles. So, from this top corner, press and drag to open a new work window, and put it on shades editor. Change it from here to world shading. And switch to render view. I will use an HDRI sky in this scene. And to do that, press Shift A to add an environment texture. Open it and select the sky map. Connect it to the background node as shown. And here it is. Now before we fix the rotation, make sure the node wrangler is enabled. And once you highlighted the sky map, press Ctrl T to add those two nodes. Now the sky sun is here, and I want it to be in the opposite side of the building, so, with the mapping node, we can fix that by rotating the sky on the Z axis. I will also add a sun lamp in the scene. From Shift A, place a sun here, try to align it with the sky sun as much as possible. After we place it in this corner, we can move it up a bit, and use the rotation to direct the sun lamp toward the house. Once we done with the sky and the sun lamp, we can switch the render engine to cycles. So do that, and put the device on GPU if you have a good graphic card. I will also make the viewport samples on 20 to keep the work smooth. Enable the adaptive sampling, and turn on the viewport denoising. In the dimension tab, check render region. I will explain those options we made before the final render, so just check them for now. Switch to render view to see what we have. Now, I'm thinking more of a morning scene, so for me, the sky seems a bit too blue for that, this car also seems above the ground. To fix the sky color. I will add a saturation node between the sky and the background as shown. And make the saturation value 0 0.85. In the sun lamp settings, hit the use nodes option and press this area on the color to make it a black body, I will make the temperature here on 6000, and change the strength from the top to 5. If you're new to the black body node, watch my tutorial on it, the link should pops up on the top corner. Once you're done with the sun settings, select the models collection, we will import the one tree we didn't use last time, so use the link process and select the one called shadow tree.
What I'm gonna do is making a line of trees between the sun and the building, and make it cast shadows over the scene. So with Shift D, make some copy along the area needed. Once you done copying those trees, scale them around to make a variation in height. Switch now to render view to see what we have. This shadow line on the top floor looks good. The street area on the left corner need a bit more shadows. I did copy this tree and scale it down to add more shadows on the street. Here in the color management settings, add some contrast to the shot with one of those options. This area on the right is a bit empty, so we will add one more tree to it. I also forget to fix the car height. So let us do that. The palm trees on the right side is not that visible anymore, so I will delete one of the trees we added last. To start adding materials to the scene, we will do the windows first, the glass and the metal frames. Now if I press 10, you can see I have this tab called Blender Kit. This is a material library that I used often. To enable it, go to the add-on settings and look for the kit library. Then check this box. If you open this small arrow, 
there's a field called API key, and it should be empty in your case, so to fill it and use the library, you need to visit the main site, and just hit register. Use any register method, and it will automatically add the key into Blender. What I need from this library is the materials section, so select it, and under here, you can find many categories for the materials, so search for the glass to open it, and as you see, it tells you near the material name, there are 63 glass materials, also on the top, you will have this thumbs preview for the materials. So for this project, I will use this glass and apply it on the windows. Hide the wood bars on the first floor, then, select the windows on the top and go to the material settings, we need to add two materials, first one for the metal frame. Press the plus icon to add the second material, this one for the glass. Now if you enter edit mode, you will notice that, the glass is still highlighted from the last time we extrude it. And we just need to hit a sign on the second material. Now, if for some reason you lost selection for the glass, you can select couple of different faces, and use the select similar by perimeter to highlight those faces again. Once you assign the glass faces to the second material, bring back the library from the eye icon, select the one you need, and just click and drag it over the glass area. In the color here, I will make it black. We don't have anything to show inside the house, so drop the transparency to zero. And that's it for the glass. In the metal frames material, change the surface to glossy. Make the color dark and put the roughness on 0.25. Open the preview section to see how it looks. We will do the same thing here in the ground floor windows. From this material icon here, we can add any previously made or imported material to the scene. Now here. A part of the wall is still attached to the windows, the easy fix is to separate it, the second option is to add a third material to this part, so, delete the metal frame for now. We will add a material first for the wall. The second material we will assign to the already highlighted glass faces. Once you assign the glass, add the third material and make it the same metal frame we made, then, hit Ctrl plus to grow selection until you highlight the frames, and from the material settings, deselect the glass faces as shown. Assign the remaining highlighted faces to the metal frame material. For the wall material we will keep it like this for now. Switch to render view to see what we have.
I think the windows looks fine. And that's it, next part we will finish the shading and the render settings. So until then, stay sharp guys, goodbye.